Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I just posted a Benny and Brina unboxing video. Here they are back here. It feels like it's been a long time for some reason. I have so much to tell you guys. So first of all, I made a Instagram for this specific subject talking about squish. Second of all, thank y'all so much to those who have helped me get to 1000 subscribers. I feel so blessed, like I can't even explain it this has been a dream of mine forever and that means none other than it is time for my first giveaway so at the end of this video i will be doing my very first giveaway if you're like wait hannah i didn't know you were having a giveaway i just found your channel you still have a chance i am doing two giveaways and the second giveaway is when i get 1500 subscribers so without further ado let's get into this video these were the most successful squish hunts i have ever been on let me let me give you a little hint for the final squish haul I'm gonna show you guys today in this video. That's your hint. You don't want to miss it, so please watch this. It's insane. It was so successful, so please sit back and relax and enjoy the squish hunting madness. I first went to Walgreens and I finally found the Twizzler cat, which I think everyone's seen by now, but it was when it was first released. And they were literally putting the squish on the shelves and I looked down and I see a giant 16 inch Zozo. I was talking to the workers in that Walgreens and they were making fun of it. They were like, that squish mellow is so ugly. I hate it, it looks like yo Gabba Gabba. And it's a little embarrassing embarrassing to admit but I was like yeah like yeah it's so it's so ugly but inside I was like I love it <laughs> I did the unthinkable I literally left and I came back when the workers weren't there anymore don't be like me don't care what people think as I was waiting for them to leave I decided you know I'm just gonna go to Cracker Barrel y'all I was not expecting this they had this latte that I've been dying to find in the wild. They had a crab, this adorable strawberry, which I almost bought, but I didn't because they're kind of pricey at Cracker Barrel and I had to be very selective, but I was gonna buy her originally until I found the ones that I found. They had this new dinosaur named Chet, which is such a funny name for a little dino. I found a cute hug me. Here's all the clips that they had. It was my first time finding an avocado in the wild that wasn't a clip, and then I found it. I found the eight inch fuzzy belly Omar. I am just on a, I am just on an Omar streak lately. And I was freaking out. There was two of them hidden. As I continued to look, I noticed they had squishmallows up on their wall. And then I found her. I found the glitter eared fuzzy belly brook to go with my fuzzy belly omar and i was so excited i grabbed her so fast and then i ran back to the walgreens that i ran away from earlier <laughs> they had even more zozos out then i looked at their tins and they were just mangled cruel in my opinion but i, I peeked at them anyways and so this was my I haul i almost didn't go to cracker barrel this is from Walgreens. And my Zozo! So cute! I know Zozo is a girl, but I took my artistic liberty and I made it a boy. Because I feel like it's a boy. And I lint rolled him. These are hard to come by, hard to find, especially Brooke. But finding them in a pair, I was so happy. So here is little Omar. And here is little Brooke. And y'all, I am dying over her sparkly ears. They're so cute. And then here is the big boy, my Zozo. He is so floppy and amazing. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. He has become my favorite Squishmallow that I have. He just, he reminds me of a dog for some reason. I think it's the ears, but I really, really love him. And we're kind of matching. So winning, I really want that girl one of him from um, Walmart. I think it's so cute. Another week, I decided to go to Target because my husband told me that they had the chicks. So I was like, I'm coming. Before I went to Target, I stopped at Walgreens. I'm eternally upset. These are all foot mellows. And I thought they were real ones. Disgusting. They're so cute though. Then I went to Books A Million and I found these squish and they're really cute, but they're just such a large size. I don't buy them there. 
But yeah, I personally hate the Flippamello squish. I don't like, I just, I don't like it. I like classic stuffed animals that are just their own being. And if those weren't Flip Mellows, I would have bought all of them probably. <laughs> then I ran to Target and I found the Chick Squishmallow that I've been wanting. I also found all these other really sought after ones. I really like the sheep. I'm not a fan of the bull though, I will say. That's pretty cute. Yes. Then I found this Hug Me Dino and it was so cute, but it sort of reminds me of a dog toy. Then I went to the normal section and they had a bop and this cute little doggy Harrison. I like the dog too. As much as I like the little Hug Me's, they do remind me of dog toys and I can't like get past that in my mind or else I'd probably buy them all as well. <laughs> then I found a squeeze mellow dragon. He was pretty cute. And I'm obsessed with this little rainbow dog. I want him, but I will not buy him. I don't know. I just can't get myself to. They also had these super cute Easter decorations that I just cannot afford. $10 for an egg. No thanks. I would only buy the bowl to trade it. <gasps> What's this? Oh my god, so cute. And these are the things I do for Squishmallows. I could not reach all the chicks. So, you know, your girl had to get her hops in for the day. Then I made a bunch of TikToks and one of them actually popped off on TikTok. So go follow me on there. Oh my god, what the hell? I went back to Cracker Barrel because it was a different week now. Found these cuties, but nothing that interested me. I also found the crown frog at Walgreens. She's like the epitome of springtime and that's why I really wanted to get her. Here's her tag. I'm the most excited to share with you this next part of the video. I saw on all social media that the Easter springtime squish have been released in Walgreens. And y'all, y'all. get this one or not it's really cute but I don't need a billion this one's adorable I love this one too okay that was intense there was a woman and her husband and I guess son in front of me we were like fighting okay that was such an exaggeration we didn't fight at all but <laughs> she grabbed the last cow and her husband grabbed the other cow and I was like what the crap man like I got one for me and one for my grandbaby which like sure that's great I just don't think it's fair to get two of the same ones in one store when there's a customer right beside you like with zero in their hands if I hadn't have asked them if I could get a cow clip I wouldn't have gotten a cow clip either it just kind of felt unfair I did end up finding the cow when I went to another one I got the last cow in my entire city but I did go a little overboard. I bought like every single one practically. Please don't judge me. <laughs> I kind of panicked because at every single store there was groups of people waiting to buy them. Literally there was that woman I was talking about. So I was like, what if I want one and it's too late. So I kind of panicked. Look at what I found today. First ones I bought were Blake the Bunny, which I thought was a guy, but it's a girl apparently. I bought Charity the chicken. She's staying. I love her flowers. I did end up finding Icona the cow at the other Walgreens I went to. He was the last one in my entire city. I did pass up the carrot and the duck. I kind of wanted the carrot though. He was incorrectly labeled. He has a chicken tag, which is so strange. And then my favorite parts. And this is the whole reason I was freaking out in the first place. These clips are freaking adorable. My most favorite one is the little butterfly Maribel. She already has her tag off because she's been on my keys. She's 
so precious. I accidentally bought a charity clip. I didn't even mean to. Kessler the cat. I really want the five inch of her. So if anyone has it and the five inch Rosie, I might trade you or buy it or something. Please, please help me, please. These are the ones I'm in search of. So if you guys have them or have stores that have them, I'll pay you to bring me them. Maybe I'll shout you out. I don't know. I got the cow clip. I only got her because I asked that family. I was like, hey, are there any more cow clips? And the husband, not the wife, the husband was so sweet. He's like, hey, yeah, here. Then they bought three. There was four and they bought the other three and I got one. So this is what I mean when I say it's a little annoying when people buy multiples of the same one because no one else gets to get one. Thankfully I did. So I'm kind of complaining for the sake of other people, not really me. I just feel bad for like, what if, cause I did see a little girl and her dad later and she would have gotten none, except a carrot. Like, come on, you gotta save, save some cows for the girls. Not a huge cow fan, but this one is so cute with the little, little bandana. Can I get them all in? These are my springtime Easter babies. Okay, this is really hard. These remind me of little bear cubs. I also went to the post office to sell these two Squishmallows. Thank you so much to the family that bought them. Shout out to y'all. I'm glad she's going to a good home. So that was the video. Now it's time for my first giveaway. So let's go do that. So right now I'm prepping my first giveaway. I have some stickers. These are not meant for bad luck. I love black cats and they are good luck. Elevated Faith stickers because I love that brand. So I'm giving away some Joy stickers, some cat stickers, my thank you card I'm going to write a letter in. These are so freaking cute. I can't. Definitely have to keep the flower one. I'm going to be giving these away. These are really fun. Husband got these for me. So let's drop that in. Anticlimatic. It's got little candies in it. So we're doing this the old fashioned way. I wrote down all the names and I put them in here. So these are all the usernames. So let's do this. All right, my eyes are closed. I promise. Eyes are closed. Here we go, this is the winner. And the winner is, drum roll please, Sophie. Congratulations on winning my very first giveaway. I'm gonna contact you and we're gonna see which one you want. And I'm gonna send this package out. Hi everyone, just a sidebar here. Please put your Instagram handles with your comments when you enter the giveaway. If you've already entered, please go back and add that. And if you do not have TikTok or Instagram, please clarify and give me an email address I can get in touch with you at because I cannot send you a prize if I can't get in touch with you. And I'm gonna have to keep redrawing winners if I can't get in touch with any of you, if I don't find you on my Instagram and your YouTube user doesn't match it. So please, please, please be specific and please help me out. I'm sorry I didn't clarify this. I didn't know this would be a problem. It's my first giveaway. So thank you guys going forward. I appreciate your patience. And if you're still interested in winning a free squish from me, go enter that giveaway right there. It's up there. Cause you still have a chance. If you like this video, give me a like. Turn on post notifications. You could be the first one and comment first. If you comment first, you win a free cookie. And yes, I did copy that from Mr. Beast. What are you gonna do about it? Thank you so much to everyone who watched this video and got this far. I appreciate all of you. Subscribe for more content. Follow me on my socials for additional Squishmallow content that doesn't make it on here. Happy Squish hunting and happy spring. It's almost spring. If you can't tell, spring is like one of my favorite seasons. Anything with flowers, I'm like, give me the flowers. I love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.